There hasn't been a Gundam battle this unique since G Gundam. It's my review of Gundam Build Fighters, Episode 9. At first, I thought this episode was gonna suck. I thought it was gonna be real fillerish and full of a bunch of stupid slice of life comedy moments that were gonna bog it down completely. And even though some of those elements were sprinkled throughout the course of the episode, it didn't diminish what was otherwise a pretty good episode of Gundam Build Fighters, which had a lot of really surprising moments and introduced an element from the Gundam models which I didn't even think they were going to address, which is the SD Gundam models, which are the smaller, chibi, super deformed, super cute looking Gundam models, and uh, I didn't even think that they could be used in battle, but they are. And another thing that was really good about this episode is that it focused on the character of China Kosaka, who is just so freaking adorable, you just gotta love this character. She's easily one of the most likable female Gundam protagonists that I have ever seen. But the main focus of this episode is that Sheena has this rivalry with this girl by the name of Caro. Make sure and call her Caro, not Caroline, because she's kind of a bitch. Carol wants nothing more than to defeat Sheena in pretty much everything and compete in everything, whether it be in their artistic abilities or even gunpla battling, and that basically gives us an excuse for these two to have a gunpla battle. Uh, but what's really cool about this episode is, yes, it does focus on Sheena, but her main focus of the story is trying to get Say out of this, like, weird funk that he's in, because he's sort of hit the wall and he's come out of ideas for what to do with his gunpla model. And because of that, he's going to get involved with Sheena and help her build her bear guy, which is a very strange Gundam to say the least. You know, I don't know much about the bear guy. I don't know if it's like a promotional gunpla that they released years ago, or if it's based off of some sort of manga spinoff. All I know is it's a giant robotic teddy bear that has lasers of death. Just seems perfect for Chena, doesn't it? Eventually, Caro challenges Chena to a gunpla battle. She actually invites her to this tournament, which is an all-female tournament, and this is a great excuse for more fan service. I literally squealed with joy when I saw this one chick who looked just like Allen B from G Gundam, and she's even using the same exact Gundam, which is fantastic. Even though the battle is very short-lived, and I can't believe it got defeated by the bear guy, it was still honestly pretty cool to see that in the first place. And just, it's amazing how they even kept like the animation style for that cameo character. I just thought that was really well done. But finally, it does get to the moment we've all been waiting for, which is Chena versus Caro, and Caro's mobile suit is really what sort of stole the show for me. It's an SD Gundam of the Night Gundam. And the minute you see it, it just looks great. And I don't know if maybe just because of the way it looks, but the animation style that they used for it is really appealing to the eyes. And honestly, I wouldn't mind seeing a whole series like that if they managed to take it even somewhat seriously. I know that there's been like a lot of other like SD Gundam spinoffs like the manga, and even there was that one computer-generated show they had years ago. I didn't really care for that one. They even aired it on Toonami, too. The battle itself is really intense, and you're probably wondering how come Caro can actually use Gunpla so well? Who taught her? Well, actually, she's being taught by Nils Nielsen, the character who was introduced in the last episode. And this is just another great way to introduce his character and show his skills. And he's even pretty impressed by some of the stuff that Sheena pulls off in the battle. And I'm not really going to tell you any more about the battle. You guys need to see it for yourself, because uh, it ends in sort of a twist of sorts like how it ends, but I like how it's done. It's really interesting and it shows they can pretty much do just about anything with these Gundam models. And at the end of the episode, Say is reinvigorated by seeing Sheena in battle, and because of that, he's going to build an even better Gunpla. And he's also strengthened his relationship with Sheena as well, so I'm sure the shippers are very happy about that one. And in a post credit scene, we get to see that they're building up the character of Ayla even more, ending the episode, and you know what? Pretty entertaining one here. A lot of really good laughs, uh, a lot of just really cutesy moments in particular from uh, Chena. She's just a really likable character in general. You just can't not like her. Uh, you know, I also love the fact that uh, Rinko, uh, Say's mother, is just still sort of like trying to hook his son up. That is just absolutely hilarious. Um, I was kind of hoping that Mr. Rawl would have more of an appearance in this one. He has a post credit scene, just because I think he's a really funny character too. But I like how they're able to sort of like, you know, have sort of this like pseudo first match between Nils and uh, Reiji because Reiji taught Sheena and Nils taught Caro. So it was like the students were fighting each other. I just thought that was really cool. Uh, the biggest highlight for me, though, was seeing that SD Gundam. It just, I really didn't think I was going to see anything like that. And of course, the Allen B cameo was absolutely incredible. Uh, just, that was something for the Gundam fans. But, uh, like I said, thought I was gonna hate this one, ended up really liking it. There were a few things I thought they could have sped up on, and I thought the montage sequence could have been handled a little bit better. 
Uh, I noticed that they use the opening theme, uh, Nibo no Ichi, which is actually a really, really catchy opening. And I actually really love the opening of the series a lot. But I don't think it worked too well in the montage sequence. And uh, it kind of reminded me of the montage sequence from Gundam Mage. But uh, that's a story for another day. Um, but there it is. Pretty good episode because of some of the slowness and uh, some other parts that I didn't really care for. I'm going to drop this one down to an 8. But otherwise... This was just a fun, entertaining episode of Gonna Build Fighters, which was funny, bubbly, cute, and actually had some pretty cool action and some great surprises. If you ever wanted to see a teddy bear fight against a little knight, this is the episode for you. So you guys have my thoughts on this week's episode of Gonna Build Fighters, but what about you guys? How did you feel about this week's episode? You can let me know about it with your comments below. Remember guys, before you leave, make sure and give this video a thumbs up. Absolutely one of the best ways to support our videos. So... I will see you next time, guys. Super Kami Guru 9000, out.